Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, oh yeah, but so in this video, I'm gonna downgrade yet another iPhone 4, but this time it's updated and hopefully it will work, all right? Because I saw some comments of you guys saying, uh, oh, the, the, the thing's no longer working, the Soma Yoshio one. So here I am, I'm trying a new tool here. And this tool is only working for iOS 5 only though. So only for 5.1.1 and iOS 6 and 7x so, okay, so you cannot downgrade iOS to iOS 5.1.1 or lower so there's the cache so here we go this is an iPhone 4 7.2 iPhone 3 comma 1 and uh, yeah before we're gonna go to the video since I'm doing this video the home button is broken since I'm trying to do this in do since I'm trying to do this video in the pandemic era I wish you guys to watch this video on your home. You guys stay safe, wash your hands, don't go outside, do social distancing. I know it sucks, but it is what it is. We gotta get through this. Okay, so if you guys bored in your house with a quarantine and you got an iPhone 4, 3.1 laying around, you can download it with me. So let's go. Okay guys, so this is the tool that we're gonna use today. It's called Pluvia. Where is it? Pluvia right there. So it is by Mr. Pedal Geek One. So again, big thank you to Pedal Geek One. And as I said here, this tool only works with iPhone 3.1, so not the 8 gigabyte one. And it works with only 5.1.1. Okay, so only iOS 5 that works 5.1.1, 6x, and iOS 7. If you guys don't want to download to 7.1 or lower, I don't really know why. But 6x is free, but only 5.1.1 is the lowest one. So we're gonna do iOS 5.1.1 here. So the first thing you have to do is uh, download the thing. So go here, download zip. Should be downloading right there. Okay, right there. And go to ipsw.me. Pick your iPhone 4. The 3.1.1 is the disk, guys. The GSM one. You click that. And then you have to download the 7.1.2 IPSW. We need that IPSW as the base. And your 5.1.1 IPSW, which I haven't downloaded. So download that right away, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, once you're downloaded all those things, we're gonna open up your finder, extract the Pluvia master folder, which is will lead up like this. Next is we're gonna go to our best friend at downgrading terminal, le terminal, and then we're gonna type in CD space, drag the Pluvia master folder inside the terminal command, hit enter. Okay, now you're inside the Pluvia master folder, and then next thing we're gonna type in dot slash make underscore IPSW dot sh space and then we're gonna drag our desired ios that we want to downgrade mine is 5.1.1 the lowest that this tool is supported supporting okay now once we're here we just have to click enter and i type it wrong okay w not two got w all right there we go it's supposed to be right there okay guys so my bad i just went through it again and you see that the error here if you bring it here again you can see here it's not supported, but you can see here it is 9B208. The supported firmware as on the Parrot Geeks website is 9B206. So if you download 9B206, so that's a little tricky. You go here again here. So there's two iOS 5 versions for the iPhone 3.1. You can see right there. There we go. Okay, so the first one is 9B208, the build code, released in 25th of May 2012. But the second one is 9B206, released in 27th April 2012. So, 8 and 6, make sure to download 9B206. Don't download the 9B208. I thought that was the same thing, you know, but apparently it was not. So, don't be a fool like me. Download 9B206 to downgrade your iPhone 4 3.1. Okay guys, so now finally our problems are sorted. We're gonna type it again, dot slash, make underscore IPSW dot SH. And now make sure to drag 9B206. You can see the difference there, 9B206, this one, 9B208, okay? Remember, 9B206 is the one that supported, okay? Now you hit enter, it will work, okay? Now just wait until the, fur, the, the uh, thingy is done. But why is it to say download 7.0.7.2 again? Wait, 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 wait. It already, I already have one. Can you? Okay, so apparently you need to download it again, but hold on, hold on. Enter. So we already. It needs to download again? Ah, there you go. It already found him. I think. Come on, I already have it. It's literally right there. 7.1.2. 
Okay, we got another error. Oh boy. Cancel. It will work. Does not longer work. Go to Apple logo. System preferences. Security and privacy. Our lovely friend here because of Catalina. Allow anyway. You go to arrow up. Enter. Open. There we go. And again. <laughs> Cancel again. Allow anyway. Arrow up. Enter. Open. Another one. No. And also it does not have to download. <laughs> again. <laughs> Allow anyway. Arrow up. Okay. Go, go, go. Open. Is there any way? Bro, yo guys. If you guys know in the comments, is there any way that I cannot see this pop up? This cannot be verified thingy because I already enabled App Store from App and I App Store and Identify Developers. Like I already enabled that. Like, is there any more settings that I have to do? Because I have to do this every single time and it's kinda annoying, man. It's kinda annoying. Open. Okay. It's created right there, IPSW patch. You can see right there, it's renamed to Lipitch. Lipitch! Okay guys, so the next step, once you created the custom IPSW, is you see me right here, you connect your iPhone. That's right, 100, 100 score for you guys. I don't know what I'm saying, all right. So the thing is, this iPhone has a little heart on the home button, right? So I have to press the back while I'm pressing the home button, so you can see. Like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So it's gonna be a little tricky to put on DFU mode. Finally, all right. So um, power for 10 seconds while holding the home button for 10 seconds already. And one, two, three. And keep holding the home button until Finder shows up or iTunes or Finder, you know, you know the drill, right? Okay, now we're finally opening up terminal again. We're gonna type in dot slash restore. Not sh space and then you see there your patch drag your patch ipsw bloop 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 close to this close this guy bloop bloop and enter oh my god again <laughs> okay you know the drill okay click lock touch id allow anyway arrow up enter blah 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 allow anyway Arrow up again. Open. Now the downgrade should be up and running right now. But first, let's take a look at our sponsor for today's video. So guys, um, have you guys ever want to change your iPhone location, like spoof to another location? If, for example, if you want to play Pokemon Go or use uh, custom Snapchat filters, or you can spoof location for your friends. For example, you saying find my friends or Zenly. I'm gonna show you guys an app, it's called iMyPhone uh, Any2. So this app basically allows you to spoof your location, use mock-up locations for your iPhone, your iPad, you know, and your iOS device. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So first things first, you gotta download the application. Okay, once you download it again, plug your phone. There it is, it will connect. Trusted things, of course. Okay, so here's the app. So what I'm gonna do here is gonna open up Pokemon Go here for measures. Okay, so here I have, have Pokemon Go here. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go to this teleport mode, hit that, and we're gonna type in something. Let's see, Paris. Okay, click and hit move. Teleporting Mega. Okay, no reminders. Okay, click move, and here we go. You can see there, I am now in Paris. Now if I go here. If I want to go to Jordan du Luxembourg, okay, click that and move, move, and there we go. I think we're in there. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got some. What is this called? Pokey. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Pokey stuff. Yeah, and I don't play Pokemon Go. Okay, here we got some Pokey Pokey stops and everything. Okay, now if we go home, we can also use this for Snapchat. So let me open up Snapchat here, and let's just scroll down. Scroll, 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 and here we go. You can see there, Paris, Jardin du Luxembourg, Paris. Okay, so if you play Pokemon Go, you can also use this feature to set custom routes. So, for example, here I'm at Apple Park. I want to go to what is it called? Mid Meadow Avenue. I can click here, move, 
and it will go. Okay, so you can see that we are walking very slowly. We are now going outside the Apple Park towards uh, what is it called? Pro Prunich Avenue. Now we're now going. Okay, now you can see here we can just play Pokemon Go without walking. You know, we can catch some some Pokemon. You know, I don't want to use the AR. So here we go. We can just easily play. And there we go. We don't have to go outside, especially with this, you know, with this pandemic. We cannot go outside and the Pokemon just break free. It is what it is. We can play out. We can go outside, play our Pokemon Go, do what you want to do. Hey guys, so I will do leave the iMyPhone into his website in the description below so you, can, so you guys can check it out. And uh, yeah, it's a very, very amazing app, I have to say. Very, very cool for you guys if you guys want to spoof your iPhone locations because Android had this feature and iOS doesn't really have this, but. Thanks to the applications, now we can do it. Okay, now let's get back to the video. Okay guys, it works. Wow. Finally guys. You know guys, I've been trying to downgrade this thing since yesterday. Ooh, look at that. I tried to downgrade this thing to iOS 4. It not, it does not work, right? It does not work. But finally, we got it to work. So let me set this up. I'll be right back. Okay guys, here it is. We successfully downgraded this phone from iOS 7.1.7.1.2 to 5.1.1. And here it is in three. Two, one. Boom, my God. After a whole achievement, this thing finally downgraded, man. General about same iPhone 5.1.1. So, hope you guys are able to upgrade your iPhone 4 to 5.1.1, 6, and maybe 7, 7.0, maybe. I don't know why you want to do that, but there's the capability if you guys want to do that. And hopefully that will entertain you guys while you guys in quarantine. Remember guys, stay safe, don't go outside, wash your hands, and uh, yeah, do social distancing, and we can do this together, alright? So, thank you guys for watching this video, and the link to any two is in the description if you guys want to try it out. Especially if you guys are a little bored in quarantine playing, I don't know, Pokemon Go, I guess. That's your thing. Go to the link in the description. Alright, so, thank you guys for watching this video, and... Peace out.